Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody. Let's head on out to the Blank Park Zoo and meet another creature and visit with our good friend Jessica Shellhorn as we find out about who you have right in front of you. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Hi, Lou. I'm doing really good. This is BB-8. He is a leopard gecko. Okay, a leopard gecko. Uh, take, tell us a little bit about the leopard gecko. What is so special about this little creature? Yeah, leopard geckos are from Afghanistan, the deserts in Afghanistan. Um, and so they're really cool to talk about because oh. most geckos are from tropical environments, but he's from a desert environment. So he uh, has a little bit different adaptations. So for one, you may know um, the ge gecko that people think of is the gecko gecko. Those are Madagascar day geckos. Um, and they uh, are known for licking their eyeballs because most geckos um, don't have eyelids that can blink. So they got to lick their eyeballs to keep them clean but since he lives in a oh. that can close is not good so he needs to be able to shut his eyes so he actually can close his eyes um when he uh to keep sand out wow and uh, you, you look at him there he almost looks artificial because of his coloring and that is all for uh, for safety isn't it for him Yep, he blends right in with the sand. Wow! Now, uh, are geckos like uh, like lizards, like uh, like this one here? Uh, you see his big tail there. Do, do they have the tails that would come off in case of emergency? Yep. So he can lose his tail. Leopard gecko really don't want to though because they live in such an arid environment such a dry climate where there's not a lot of food they use their tails like camels use humps ah. um, and they store extra food so extra fat in their tail so they really don't want to lose their tail that's an absolute last resort for them wow what an amazing creature uh the, and this is one of the education animals i take it Yep, he is from our ambassador animal department. So he's one that you would see if we go um, travel to your facility for a program or if you come to the zoo, say for a field trip. All right, let's talk about field trips if we can, because that is one of the most popular activities uh, with schools and clubs and organizations is coming out to the Blank Park Zoo for a field trip. Tell everybody how they can participate in something like that. You see the buses pulling in right now. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, you can come to the zoo for a field trip. Our schools get a very discounted rate to come for a field trip. And the busiest time of year for field trips is the month of May. So we're it's right around the corner. So we're getting ready for a whole bunch of kids to come from schools all over the state of Iowa and some from Missouri. Oh, really? Are they even come up from there? How about that? How is there any wait in order to uh, make a reservation to have a group come in or not? Yeah, for um, for our schools, we do ask them to reserve uh, their field trip um, two weeks in advance, especially if you're wanting a program. Um, our calendar does fill up pretty quickly, so we do need a two weeks notice. But um, if you're just coming, especially the month of May, if you're coming the rest of the year, we usually can kind of squeeze you in as long as we have some advance notice. Oh, that is great. Now, while uh, you want to come out to the Blank Park Zoo, uh, if you're not in school, you want to come out anyway because the weather the last couple days has been ideal, but you want to come out at night because you have something very special going on with wild lights. Yes, yes, we um, our wild lights festival is going on the entire month of um, well, it's been going on all of April and will continue the whole month of May. Um, so every Wednesday through Sunday night from 7 to 10 p.m. we have our wild lights festival going on. So you can come see all the lanterns and if you come up to our event center you can have some um, enjoy some education activities as well. Yeah and these lanterns are really are, are larger than life. Uh, people uh, might not realize that even the video is awesome here but the the lizards are huge. You even have some some what dinosaurs in the lagoon is that what I understand? They're they are. Yep. Yeah, some big giant dinosaurs in our kids kingdom pond. Yeah, and this is really a cool one there too. There's a cannon that the kids can jump on a little pad and the fuse is lit and you watch it go around and the cannon shoots a puff of smoke at you. Uh, but it is absolutely stunning. You have the butterfly tree there that'll have you mesmerized for a long period of time. Now, are there discounts if you get your tickets online as opposed to getting them when you walk up? I 
think it's the same price, um, but we do encourage you getting your tickets in advance because we have a limited number available each night. All right, that is great, but get on out to the Blank Park Zoo. You saw the, the peacock there. That is really neat. The peacock's feathers actually unfurl. There's a, they're on a timer, which is really a neat thing to do, but so many things going on at the Blank Park Zoo. If people want to find out more about it, where can they go? Blankparkzoo.com. Blankparkzoo.com. It is just that simple. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Lou. We'll talk to you next time, Jessica. Thank you so much. All right, well, how about we talk real quickly about things you can't celebrate today. One of the things uh, we want to make sure we mention, Marine Mammal Rescue Day is today. All the seals and sea lions in the Blank Park Zoo, they're all rescues except for the offspring. How cool is that? Get out and enjoy the rest of your day, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow on Iowa Live.